Oh no, I don't know how I'm going to get this closed. I managed to get my rucksack closed and now I'm ready to go. I'm heading for a month intensive Basque. I've been learning Basque for three years now, nearly, and uh, I've been doing it a little bit at a time, regularly, but I've never really focused on it intensively. And that's what this month in the Basque country is all about. I'm really excited about uh, getting to use the language in the field. I've got some specific targets in terms of vocabulary and grammar I want to get on top of. But basically I want to live the language and live the, uh, the Basque learning experience and being part of the revival of the Basque language. Now I sail through security without a delay, not bad for Euro Traveller, so it goes against the grain, but I'm going to have to give a thumbs up. Nice to see Wales, there's only whiskey on sale here, and they're using a bit of Welsh on the packaging, which they don't always do, so credit where credit's due. You know, I suppose it is too late now for a career in modelling, I'm going to have to make it as a language blogger. If anyone still doubts the merits of Scottish independence, surely the chance to ban shortbread from England should clinch it. Well, I hope I'm not going to be needing either of these languages in the next month. Ah, the hegemony of banal British nationalism. So modest, so understated. We are just a few minutes behind time. Um, I'd like to give you a really good explanation for that, but um, the truth of the matter is uh, my co-partner and I missed the bus. first thing that strikes you is there's a very thorough trilingualism here in the airport. Basque, Spanish and English and nobody seems to be getting too confused. Now I know you're not going to believe this because I wasn't filming it but I've just actually bought my ticket for the bus in Basque. There are three things I've noticed here straight away. It's warm, it's green, and it's rich. Okay, this is the building. I've had a couple of WhatsApp messages I'm in Basque. I know that somebody's gonna meet me. Just a question of finding Michael. So this is the view out of the apartment. I think it's what an estate agent would call a good view of the Guggenheim Museum. It's certainly enough though to give you a real sense of place. Bye bye. Cheers. Sunday morning in Bilbao. Well, the tourist office here in Bilbao is definitely on message.
One thing you really notice is how much manufacturing the Basques have managed to keep in their own country. Auda San Martin, eta urrena, urrengoa izango da San Gregorio. Eta biden auzo txikiago daude. My couch surfing host Felix has brought me to a town. Court and it's a wine and cheese tasting. Been speaking a lot of Basque tonight enjoy some wine and cheese but it's time now to go to bed to be fresh for the Basque course which starts tomorrow morning. Stay tuned, look out for the next vlog.